everybody, and welcome to Bal Memorial Stadium in Baltimore for Game 5 of the 1966 World Series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Orioles lead the series three games to one and look to Jim Palmer to close it out. Palmer pitched in Game 2, and he outdueled Sandy Koufax by going nine innings and giving up one run. He only gave up three hits and walked two, but he also struck out six. And leading off for the Los Angeles Dodgers is going to be the shortstop, Maury Wills, batting second, the third baseman, Jim Gilliam, batting third, the center fielder, Willie Davis, batting fourth, the right fielder, Ron Fairley, batting fifth, the second baseman, Jim Lefevre, batting sixth is the left fielder, Lou Johnson, batting seventh, the catcher, Johnny Roseboro, batting eighth, the first baseman, Wes Parker, and batting ninth is the pitcher, Sandy Koufax. Like I said, on the mound is going to be Palmer. He's looking in to get his first sign from Andy Etcheberrin. And here comes the pitch. And it's going to be a fly ball over towards center field. It's going to be easy play for Paul Blair, and there's one down. In comes Gilliam. Gilliam is 0 for 6 in the World Series. Here comes the pitch from Palmer. And he will walk him. So Gilliam is on with a walk. He's got a good lead over there at first. See if he takes off, and he does, and here comes the throw, and they got him. A great throw by Etcheberrin nails Jim Gilliam, and there's two down, and here's Willie Davis. Davis hitting 333 in the World Series. No homers, no RBIs. Here comes a pitch from Palmer. There's going to be a little tapper over towards Boog Powell. Palmer covering first. Paul Powell's going to take it himself, and the inning is over. We head to the bottom of the first. There's no score. And here is Sandy Koufax walking out to the mound. Koufax, the big left-hander, was outdueled, like I said, in game one by Jim Palmer. And he went eight innings, gave up nine hits, walked one, struck out four, but gave up two home runs. And leading off for the Orioles is going to be the shortstop, Luis Aparicio. Batting second is the left fielder, Clerk Blaferry. Batting third, the right fielder, Frank Robinson. Batting fourth, the third baseman, Brooks Robinson. Batting fifth is the first baseman, Boo Powell. Batting six is the second baseman, Davey Johnson. Batting seventh, the center fielder, Paul Blair. Batting eighth and doing the catching is Andy Etcheberrin. And batting ninth is Jim Palmer. And here comes the pitch from Koufax to Aparicio, who's hitting 176 in the World Series. And there's going to be a fly ball out to right, fairly chasing it down. Should be an easy play for him. And it hits off his glove, and that's going to send Aparicio to second. And it's going to be a two-base error. And, and the Orioles have a man on second, nobody out, and what looked like a routine fly ball, but fairly dropped it. Here's Kurt Bleffery. Bleffery in the World Series has one homer, one RBI, and hitting 167. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. And that is going to be a smashing for extra bases. And Bleffery is rounding first, and he's going to head into second and hold there with a double. Aparicio scores, and it's 1-0 Baltimore. Here's Frank Robinson. He's hitting 313 in the World Series with two homers and six RBIs. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. And that's going to be a base hit for Robinson. And let's see if they send Bleffery around. He will hold at third. And it's now Frunners on first and third. Nobody out for Brooks Robinson. He's hitting 313 in the World Series. No homers, no RBIs. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. And that's going to be a little tapper towards short. That should be a double play ball. And it goes around the horn. It's a Taylor made double play. 6-4-3. But the run will score, and it makes it 2 0 Baltimore. And here is Boog Powell. Powell hitting 250 in the World Series with one homer, one RBI. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. And that is a long drive way back. And this one is going to be gone. A home run for Boog Powell. Puts the Orioles up 3 0. Holy cow, they are just tattooing Sandy Koufax. Here comes the pitch to Davey Johnson. Johnson, 313 in the World Series with one RBI. Here's going to be a little slap by Johnson. And that's going to be just... 
It's going to be just over the head of the second baseman, and he is going to hold at first with a single. Got over into the corner a little bit, but fairly got to it quickly and holds him to a single. And here's Paul Blair. Blair hitting 333 in the World Series. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. That's going to be a ground ball towards short. Should be an easy play, and it is, and they throw him out. But at the end of one, the Orioles strike first. They are up three to nothing. Here comes Palmer walking back out to the mound. Here comes Fairley up to the plate. Fairley has no homers, one RBI, and is hitting 250. Here comes the pitch from Palmer. And he struck him out. Fairley goes down on strikes. That's the first strikeout for Palmer. And here comes Jim Lefevre. Lefevre has three RBIs in the World Series. is hitting 071. And here comes the pitch from Palmer. He struck him out. Lou Johnson steps in. He's also hitting 067 for the World Series. No homers, no RBIs. Here comes the pitch from Palmer. And that is going to be a walk. So Johnson is on with a walk. And here comes Roseboro. Roseboro hit no 77. Again, no homers, no RBIs. Here comes the pitch from Palmer. And that's going to be a little tapper over towards first. Should be an easy play. And Powell flips it to Palmer to end the inning. And we head to the bottom of the second. It's 3 0 Orioles. Here's Andy Etchebarren hitting 200 in the World Series. He has a couple RBIs. And here comes the pitch from Koufax. And that's going to be on the ground towards Gilliam. Gilliam charging. And he pulls Parker off the bag. And that is going to put Echebarren on. And here's Palmer. He'll probably tap lay down a bunt. And they're going to, he fouls it away. And here comes the pitch from Koufax. He struck him out. So an easy strikeout for Koufax. And there's one down. Peanut, peanut, Here's Aparicio. He reached on a two base error his first time up. And there's going to be a ground ball towards Wills. This will be an easy double play ball. And there you go again. It's going to be a 6 4 3 double play. And the inning is over. We head to the third. It is 3 0 Orioles. Here's Wes Parker. Parker also hitting below 100 in the World Series. He's hitting 067. And here comes the pitch from Palmer. Corners are in. And he walks them. So Parker draws a walk. Puts a man on. It's the third walk of the game for Palmer. Here comes Koufax. Let's see what Parker, if he takes off. Nope. Palmer looks him back. Shortens up his lead. Here comes the pitch to Koufax. He struck him out. Easy strikeout for Palmer as he returns the favor for going down strikes against Koufax. And there's one away. Here's Maury Wills. He flew out his first time up. Parker still on first. Palmer the pitch. He struck him out. That is strikeout number four for Jim Palmer. Here comes Gilliam. He walked his first time up. Here comes the pitch from Palmer. This will be a line drive base hit for Jim Gilliam. That's his first hit of the World Series. And they'll have runners at first and second. Oh, and they're going to send their runner to third. He's rounding it. And the Orioles are going to throw for him. And the throw to third. Got him! Holy cow, what a great throw. And that is going to end the inning for the Dodgers as they were threatening. I was not expecting them to get him, but that was an excellent throw from the outfield. And it ends the inning. We head to the bottom of the third. It's 3-0 Orioles. Here's Kurt Bleffrey. He's one for one today with a double and an RBI. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. He struck him out. There's one down, and here comes Frank Robinson. He singled his first time up. 
And here comes the pitch from Koufax. And he struck him out. And that is going to be two down. Here comes Brooks Robinson. He grounded into a double play back in the first. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. And he walks him. So Koufax puts Robinson on to pitch to Boog Powell. Powell hit a home run his last time up. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. He struck him out. Koufax rings up the side. And the inning is over. We head to the fourth. It's 3-0 Orioles. Here's Willie Davis. He grounded out his first time up. And he walked him. So Davis draws a walk. Hot dog. Ballpark. Hot dog. He's getting a good lead over there. Palmer looks him back. He starts getting that lead. It shortens it up slightly. He's going to take off. And here comes the throw from Etcheberrin. And he is not going to get him safe. Willie Davis steals second, puts a runner in scoring position. Here is Ron Fairley. Fairley struck out his first time up. Here comes the pitch from Palmer. And it's going to be a fly ball out towards Paul Blair. Blair chasing it down. He's not going to get it. That's going to get past him. And it's going to roll to the wall. That's going to score Davis for sure. Fairley is going to be on second with a double. And it's now 3-1. to one. Here's Lefevre. He is 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. Here comes the pitch from Palmer. That's going to be a ground ball over towards first. Powell takes it. Moves fairly over to third, so there's now a runner on third. One out for Lou Johnson. Johnson walked his first time up. Here comes the pitch from Palmer. And he smacks it out towards the outfield. This might get down. No, it's going to be caught. An excellent running play by Paul Blair. It's going to score the run. It's going to make it 3-2. to two. A nice sack fly as Blair had to catch that one on the run. Scores him easily. And here is Johnny Roseboro, who is 0 for 1 today. Here comes the pitch from Palmer. There's going to be a ground ball towards Johnson. And it's going to be an easy play. He throws him out. And that's going to end the inning. But the Dodgers get two. We head to the bottom of the fourth. It's 3-2 Orioles. Here's Davey Johnson. He singled his last time up. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. And that's going to be a ground ball towards Wills. And that's going to get through. It's a base hit. So Johnson's on with his second single of the ball game. Here's Paul Blair. Blair's 0 for 1. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. And he walks him. So Koufax walks Blair. And the Orioles got runners on first and second. And nobody out for Andy Echebarren. Echebarren reached on an error. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. And this is a ground ball towards Wills. This should be the third double play of the game. And it will be. And they turn their third double play from Wills to Lefevre to Parker. And there's two outs. Johnson moves up the third. And it's now a runner on third. Two outs for the pitcher, Palmer. Koufax. Goes into his windup. And the delivery. And that's going to be a ground ball towards Wills. Maury Wills should have this one easily. And it scoots past him. It's a base hit into the outfield. I thought Wills had that one up the middle, but it looks like he just missed it. And it's now 4-2 Orioles as Palmer gets an RBI single. Here's Aparicio. He's 0 for 2 today. He's reached on an error and grounded into a double play. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. And that's going to be a ground ball towards Wills. This one he will have. And he throws him out. And the inning is over. And we head to the fifth. It's 4-2 Orioles. Here's Parker. He is 0 for 0. He walked his first time up. 
And here comes the pitch from Palmer. This would be a big pop-up behind the plate. Etcheberry makes the play, and there's one down. Here's Koufax, struck out his first time up. There's a ground ball towards Johnson. And Johnson throws him out. And there's two down. Here's Maury Wills, he's 0 for 2 today. Here comes a pitch from Palmer, and there's a base hit for Murray Wills. Wills getting a good lead over there. He takes off, and here comes the throw from Etcheberry, and is not going to be in time. And a stolen base for Murray Wills, and here's Jim Gilliam. Gilliam one for one today, a single and a walk. Here comes a pitch from Palmer. And that's a fly ball out towards Bleffrey. He's on the run here. And he is not going to get it. That's going to score the run. And Gilliam is on first with a single. Wills scores easily. It's now 4-3 to three here in the fifth. Here's Willie Davis. Two outs, man on. Gilliam has a decent lead. And here comes the pitch. And it's a base hit for Davis. And they're going to send him the third. Orioles are going to cut it off. And they're going to pitch to Fairley. So it's runners on first and third, two outs. Here's Fairley. Here comes the pitch from Palmer. And that's a long drive way back. And that is going to be in the seats. A big three-run blast by Ron Fairley. And the Dodgers take the lead, 6-4. to four, And Palmer looks like he is going to be leaving this game. Now looks like Earl Weaver has seen enough as he has given up six runs in the last two innings. And the Dodgers are up on a big home run by Ron Fairley. And we are going to see a pitching change. We'll be right back. And Ever Earl Weaver is going to go with Dick Hall to come in to replace Jim Palmer. Hall in the regular season was 6-2 with a 3.95 earn run average. He had seven saves. He pitched 66 innings, and he gave up eight home runs. So let's see how he does here against this Dodger lineup. Here is Jim Lefevre. Lefevre 0 for 2 today. Hall making his first appearance of the World Series. And he struck him out. A big strikeout for Hall. He gets him out of the inning. And the Dodgers put up a four spot. And they get most of their runs with two outs. And they now lead it six to four. Here we go, here's Kurt Bleffery. He's one for two today with a double and an RBI. Koufax hoping to keep this lead. He's given up a little bit too many hits and a couple of walks. But let's see if he can keep them off the board. And here comes the pitch. And a walk to Bleffery. Here's Frank Robinson. He's one for two today. And that's going to be a base hit. Robinson singles. So they now got runners at first and second. And nobody out for Brooks Robinson, who's 0 for 1 today. He's got a walk and bounced into a double play. He gets some wood on that one. There's a fly ball. That's going to be out in the outfield. That's going to be caught. So there's one down as Robinson flies out to Davis. And here is Boog Powell, who's one for two with a home run and a strikeout. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. He struck him out again. So Powell goes down on strikes. And there's two down. And here comes Davey Johnson, who's two for two today. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. He struck him out. And that's going to end the inning. The Orioles threaten but get nothing. 
And we head to the sixth. It is now, it's still 6-4 Dodgers. Here's Lou Johnson. He does not have an official at bat, but he's got a sacrifice line and RBI. Here comes the pitch from Hall. That's going to be a ground ball. Over towards third, easy play for Brooks Robinson. And there's one down. Here's Johnny Roseboro. He's 0 for 2 today. Pitch from Hall. There's going to be a fly ball out towards center field. Blair will make that catch, and there's two down. Here's Wes Parker. Parker 0 for 1, has a walk and a pop out. Corners are in, so they're playing against the bunt. Here comes the pitch from Hall. And he's going to pop it up over towards second base. Easy play for Davey Johnson. And the inning is over. We head to the bottom of the sixth. It's 6-4 Dodgers. Here's Paul Blair. He's 0 for 1 today with a ground out and a walk. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. There's going to be a tapper right back towards the mound. And it gets through Koufax. And it's into the outfield, and uh, Paul Blair is on with a single. Here's Echebaron. He's 0 for 2 today. Reached on an error and grounded into a double play. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. Peanuts, peanuts, get your peanuts here. And there's a ground ball toward short. It's going to be another double play ball. And it is 6-4-3. And there are two down. Here comes Hall. He was up and Weaver is calling him back and we're going to have a pinch hitter. So Weaver calls on Woody Held to come in and pinch hit for Dick Hall. Well held in the regular season. Hit 207 in 82 at bats. He had a homer and seven RBIs. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. And base hit for Woody Held. He slaps a little single in there. A two out single for Held and here comes Luis Aparicio. 0 for three today. Reached on an error and grounded out twice. Once into a double play. Here comes the pitch from, and it's a wild pitch by Koufax. Here comes the pitch to Aparicio. And that's going to be a base hit that should score held. They're going to send him, and here comes the throw to the plate. And it's going to be a close one. Roseboro's good at blocking it. And here comes a one hopper into the plate. And he is out at the plate. Holy cow, a great play. Excellent play by Roseboro to block the plate to get the out. And we head to the bottom of the sixth. It's 6 4 Dodgers. And a new pitcher for the Orioles. It's going to be John Miller. He's making his debut in the World Series in the regular season. Miller was 4 and 8. And he had 16 starts with a 4.74 earn run average. Pitched 101 innings, struck out 81, walked 58, but also gave up 15 homers. And leading off is going to be Koufax. Here comes the pitch from Miller. There's going to be a ground ball towards Aparicio. Should be able to take his time and get Koufax. And he does, and there is one away. Here's Maury Wills. He's one for three. Has a single and a stolen base, plus a run scored. Here's a fly ball out towards center field. Blair camping under it. And he will make the catch, and there are two down. Here comes Jim Gilliam. And he struck him out. Gilliam was two for two at that point. We head to the bottom of the seventh.
All right, here we are in the bottom of the seventh. It's 6-4 Dodgers. And leading it off is going to be Kurt Bleffery. Bleffery is one for two today with a double, a walk, and a strikeout. He also has an RBI. Koufax has given up a lot of hits today. He's given up ten hits. He's walked three, but he has struck out six. But his production has not been great. And But the offense is doing the job for him. That big home run put the Dodgers up 6-4. to four. Here comes the pitch from Koufax to Bleffery. And that's going to be a base hit for Bleffery. And he is on. And here comes Frank Robinson. He's two for three today. A couple of singles. Here comes a pitch from Koufax. That's going to be a fly ball out towards Davis. Should be an easy catch, and it is, and there's one down. Here's Brooks Robinson. He's 0 for 2. Here comes the pitch. And that's going to be on the ground to short. Should be a double play, and it is. 6-4-3. And the inning is over. We head to the 8th. It's 6-4 Dodgers on your home for Stratomatic Baseball. And here comes Willie Davis. He's facing off against Miller, who's in his second inning of work. Davis is one for two today with a couple of runs scored. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be a pop-up over for Etchebarren. Makes the catch, and there's one away. Here's Fairley. He's two for three with that big three-run homer. He's got four RBIs on the day. And here comes the pitch from John Miller. And it's going to be a ground ball over towards Davey Johnson. And Johnson moves over. He makes the play, throws him out, and there's two down. Here's Lefevre. He's 0 for 3. He struck out a couple of times. Here comes the pitch from Miller. He struck him out. That will end the inning. We head to the bottom of the eighth. It's 6 4 Dodgers. Here's Koufax versus Powell. Powell 1 for 3 today with a home run. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. That's going to be on the ground towards Lefevre. And that's going to be through the infield. That's going to be a base hit. And the Fever picks it up and throws it away. And Powell quickly moves up to second. And the Orioles have a man on second with two outs here in the eighth. And here's Davey Johnson. Pitch from Koufax. It's going to be a ground ball over towards short. Wills will throw him out. Powell holds it second. Here's Paul Blair. Blair one for two today. The single and a walk. And here comes the pitch from Koufax. And it's going to be on the ground over towards Parker. And he's going to make the play. He takes it easily himself. Powell moves over to third. And here's Andy Echebarren. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. Etcheberry 0 for 3 today. He's grounded into two double play balls. And here comes the pitch. And that is a long drive way back. And it is going to be uh, caught on the warning track. And the inning is over. And we head to the ninth. It's 6 4 Dodgers. Here's Lou Johnson. He's 0 for 1. Pitch from Miller. And he flies out, and there's one away. Easy play for Robinson. Here's Johnny Roseboro. Roseboro 0 for 3 today. Here comes the pitch, and that's going to be a fly ball out towards Blair. And he makes the catch, and there's two down. Here's Wes Parker. He's 0 for 2. Here comes the pitch from Miller. Ground ball to short, easy play for Aparicio. Throws him out, and we head to the bottom of the ninth. It's 6-4 Dodgers. 
here comes a pinch hit hitter for Miller. So Bob Johnson is the pinch hitter for John Miller. Johnson in the regular season hit 217 with one homer, 10 RBIs. He did have 157 plate appearances. So let's see what he can do against Koufax. And here comes the pitch from Sandy. He struck him out. Koufax strikes him out for out number one. And here is Luis Aparicio, who's one for four today. That's the seventh strikeout for Koufax. Aparicio. And that's going to be a fly ball towards center field. Davis ranging over. And he will make the catch. And there are two away here in the ninth. Here comes Bleffery. He's two for three today. Double on an RBI. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. On the ground towards Lefever. And he picks it up and throws him out. And that's the ball game. And the Dodgers win game five by a score of six to four. Koufax is going to be your winner as he goes the distance. He was not impressive today, but ends up getting the win. He is now 1-1 one one in the World Series. Jim Palmer took the loss as he gave up six runs and six earned in four and two-thirds. Your player of the game today is going to be Ron Fairley as he went two for four in that big bomb with four RBIs. So, again, the final score is the Dodgers 6 the Orioles four. The World Series is now at three games to two. We'll see you in a couple of days in Dodger Stadium for game six of the World Series. I'm Harwell Kell, and thanks for tuning in.